Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas. Today I'd like to take you through a sneak preview of Dandelion and Quince. It's a cookbook that's exploring the wide world of unusual vegetables, fruits, and herbs. It's by Michelle McKenzie, photographs by Rick Poon. I haven't looked through it yet or cooked or baked anything out of it. I was waiting to look through it with you. Now we can't look through the whole book, but let's check out the table of contents and then peek at some of the recipes. This came out in 2018. Roost Books is the publisher. And the contents are organized by the type of herb or ingredient, such as dandelion, dates, edible ornamentals, green garlic, horseradish, huckleberries, purslane, quince, radicchio, ramps, shallots, sorrel, sprouts, etc. So here's the introduction. I'll read that later. On letting go, on attuning to the body. Dandelion and quince. So first off, Asian pears. And it says the four uh, the recipe she's going to cover here and then lets us know about what Asian pears are. First recipe of the book, pickled pears. Oh, that sounds intriguing. Shinko pear and buttermilk sorbet. This is going to be a very creative cookbook, I can tell. Rye berries, chicory, pear, and walnuts. A steamed pear to soothe a cough. And now bolting herbs, such as peas and their shoots. Lettuce, tickle more, and chive blossoms. This is going to be very educational. Caramelized carrots with lentils, labneh, and flowering cilantro. Smoked trout and potato hash with dill blossoms. Buddha's hand. I've eaten that one time. It was good. So here's a recipe called Six Citrus Rice Salad. I'm assuming, yep, and it uses Buddha's hand. Cheese, pumpkin, and citron hummus. Walnut and citron, quote unquote, cigars. Fermented citron and honey tea. Let's start skipping ahead a little. Cardoons, never heard of that. Buttermilk fried cardoons. This is celeriac galette. That would be amazing in autumn. Celery leaf salmori, salmorilio. Here's spring rolls with daikon, yuba, and sprouts. Dandelion. We're going to learn about that. And some of the recipes include meatballs, summer, Sunday sauce, and dandelion gremolata. Cashew milk with fresh dates, banana, and oats. Ooh, what was that? I just saw an awesome picture that I want to show you. Edible ornamentals. Aha! Such as burrata, fava beans, and fava leaves. I've never eaten fava leaves. Roasted asparagus with fava leaves, radish, and green garlic vinaigrette. Here's sardine pâté with fennel pollen. Now fig leaves and the things you can do with them besides wearing them. Chicken thighs braised with fig leaves, white bean, and yogurt puree. Here's smoked fig leaf cookies. Now we're going to talk about green garlic. Chill or grilled green garlic with romesco breadcrumbs. Horseradish. Huckleberries, butter glazed kohlrabi, beautiful photos in this book, kumquats, I don't see a lot of kumquat recipes in cookbooks usually, short ribs with kumquat and kombu, mustard greens, nettles, nettles with coconut oil and mustard seeds, persimmons, Here's farro with persimmons, arugula, and pachetta fried hazelnuts. Charred padrones, purslane, and vinegared torpedo onions. Now here's the quince section. Winter root and quince tagine. Radicchio. Ramps. 
roasted artichokes with ramp mayonnaise, shallots, crispy eggplant with pickled shallots, green chilies, and Thai basil, crispy shallots and shallot oil, green shallots baked with comté, your sorrel baked omelet with sorrel, dill, and toasted fenugreek. Is this a vegetarian cookbook? I'm not seeing meat. Hmm. Sprouted chickpea croquettes, yogurt, tahini, and coriander. Squash blossoms with quesadillas. Here's sunchokes. Shaved sunchoked salad with sunflower sprouts, sunflower seeds, and manchego. That was a tongue twister. Ah, green fish stew. It is not a vegetarian cookbook. Okay. And weeds that we want... Beets in raspberry vinegar with miner's lettuce. And here's pantry essentials such as kombu stock, preserved lemons, semolina dough, etc. That was Dandelion and Quince. I hope you enjoyed this cookbook look through and preview as much as I did. Thanks so much for watching.